Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a toolbox tour. Uh, these are the tools I use as a SeaTech at Firestone almost every single day. Some of them not every single day, but you know, that doesn't matter. Alright, so we're going to start up top. Um, also, first let me say if you guys want me to do any reviews on any of the tools you see in this video, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to do those reviews. Uh, we're going to start at the top of the box. These are the things I use every single day. That's why they're out. Um, we got my gloves that I never use, uh, 3 8 we got 10 through 14, missing 15, 16, 17, missing 18, and 19. Uh, we got my deep 3 8 10 through 19. Um, we got my half inches back here. We got 10 through 17. We got 19, 21, 22, 24, and 27. We got the deeps that are 10. 13 through 15, 17 through 19, 21, 22, 24, and 27. We got my quarter inch sockets here. They got five, missing five and a half, six through 14. We got uh, the shallows that are 4.5 4 through 11, missing 12 and 13. Um, we got my half inch extensions here, one inch, two inch, three inch, six inch, and 12 inch. We got my 3 8 extensions, we got uh, 24 inch, 12 inch, 6 inch, and 3 inch. And we got my torque stick that we use to pre-torque all lug nuts. We got my torque wrench here, um, bought by the company. Um, we got Milwaukee gun here that's used every single day. As you can see it's used and abused. Batteries are starting to go bad, got the ears ripping off. So when you use it, you got to hold the battery in and push on the tool. Top left of the box, we got my screwdrivers, uh, my one and only punch, uh, got picks, we got my bits here, um, and also we got a nut driver with a little extension here that I never have never used in my life. Next drawer down is just some random miscellaneous stuff like a buffing pad. Um, a bungee cord to hold up calipers and suspension parts. We got a hose here for brake fluid exchanges when I'm too lazy to take off the wheel. Uh, air pressure checker, belt checker, um, and then a cookie for cookie things. Got my electrical drawer here. I know it's looking so, so great. I got multimeter and a couple test lights, and that's all for this drawer. Um, there's nothing in, oh, just lying. Just kidding, there's hex keys in this drawer, and only hex keys. Moving over, in my top drawer here, we got my scrapers, my brushes, um, vice grips, uh, hood vice grips, and just regular vice grips, snap ring pliers that are broken at the moment. Um, we got random pliers here, channel lock, needle nose, regular pliers, regular pliers, and wire dykes. We have in my next drawer, these are my ratchets. Got half inch extend, half inch extendable ratchet, a normal half inch ratchet, a three eighths and quarter inch ratchet that's also extend, extendable. We got quarter inch ratchet, we got pass through sockets, and these are my oil filter claw and oil filter cup. For Toyotas and then this is for every other oil filter where people decide to he-man the oil filter on. Next drawer down we got a whole lot of nothing. Next drawer down we also got a whole lot of nothing. Moving on to my side box here because this isn't really interesting. Um, also on top of my side box I keep my chargers, uh, my towels, and all my bottles of crap. Uh, we got my miscellaneous drawer here. We got another miscellaneous drawer. We got a bolts drawer. Nothing in that one, nothing in that one. Down here we got a dual piston brake caliper compressor that I use on single pistons and dual pistons. We also got a four piston caliper depressor here. Um, some brake shoe. Uh, tools and we also have the brake pad measurement tool in the bottom drawer here we just got some slides and a um, dis distribute dis distributor cap 
uh, remover tool here that will probably never get used. In the top box for the bottom, in the top drawer for the bottom box, we have all my sockets that are just used every once in a while. We got 3 8 hex, um, my spark plug sockets over here. We got some adapters, um, 3 8 just random sockets. We got my 3 8 torque sockets and 3 8 swivel. In the middle, we got 32 and a 30 millimeter socket. All my swivel sockets that I use for brakes, um, an extra 18 and an extra 21, a uh, half inch swivel, and then we got half inch hex. Um, over here we got some flip sockets that I don't use anymore, uh, and some miscellaneous 3 8 socket, I mean quarter inch sockets here with a quarter inch swivel, and we got some quarter inch torque spits here. Um, they're all, most of my tools are Harbor Freight, uh, Summer Matco. I don't have any snap on tools except for the toolbox. Uh, next drawer down, we got my wrench drawer, uh, my Matco, um, double box end ratcheting wrenches that have the selector on them to go from, you know, loose to tighten or, you know, whatever. Uh, we got standard wrenches here that never get used and metric wrenches here. We got some extras, uh, an 11 millimeter that does not come with the metric wrench set from Harbor Freight. We also got a longer 21. Uh, we got my crescent wrenches back here and then some stubby metric and standard wrenches. Third drawer down, we got my power tool drawer that only has two tools in it because my diangle grinders over on the tire machine thing over there. Uh, we got my drill here that I used to take down dust shields. Got my old earthquake air gun that I used every single day. This thing is a beast. Takes off pretty much everything. I haven't had anything I couldn't take off with it. Some extra torque sticks that were left laying around the shop that I ended up picking up. Next drawer down, got my pry bar set and my hammer and my rubber mallet. Next drawer, we got my ball joint press. This is where I'm gonna be putting all my um, presses and specialty tools like ball joint press, bearing puller, stuff like that. Bottom drawer is just for storage for my cases. And that's, this is my little handheld bag when I need to take tools home, um, but that's, that's my toolbox, um, that right there. It's a nice toolbox, I just got it. Uh, Matco got it in and it was a trade in. So I got this thing for a decent price for what it is. Got a couple scratches, got a couple stickers. Um, and also one thing that is not in my toolbox that I use every single day, so it's on my lift, is my air pressure gauge from Matco. Uh, I use that thing every single day. Um, but yeah, this, uh, that's my toolbox, and those are all my tools. Uh, every single tool I own is here, um, besides my jumper pack and my um, code scanner. Uh, but those are nothing special there in my car. Like I said before, if you guys want me to do any reviews on any of the tools in here, let me know. If you guys want me to do a review on the toolbox, let me know. Um, and that's pretty much it. I plan on doing tool reviews on any new tools I get, new specialty tools. I'm not going to do a, if I buy like one socket like I did here, it's Matco 11 that I just randomly lost in a Buick, a Buick 8 socket. Uh, if I just randomly lose a tool and buy a new tool like this, I'm not going to do a review on it. But if I buy like uh, another press or anything like that, I'll end up doing a review. I'll end up doing a review on that ball joint press and probably the Milwaukee gun, um, some of the socket sets and the wrenches. Um, but if, if you want me to do any other reviews, let me know. Um, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you guys. Peace out.